We are back. It's another Sunday night coming to you live from the Content Factory. It's time for another episode of Dead, dead to us. us. And none of you are dead to us because you're only dead to us if you don't listen to the show, but you guys are all here listening to the show. We are happy to have you yes. on day 21 for us of the quarantine. It is? Yeah. Oh. Today is three weeks from the last time I had a drink of alcohol from when we walked home that last night. We You're have, just showing off that you can do math that fast. Yes. Uh, I'm actually actually very smart. Um, don't tell anybody. <laughs> but yeah, tonight is three weeks we've been home uh, with no work, no shows, no nothing. Yeah. It's been and, great. And... Uh, <laughs> Shire <laughs> loves it. I I mean I enjoy it. We we got a lot done. I'm so tam and yeah. I'm so good at hula hoop. Shire's been Shire hula hoop for about an hour this morning or this afternoon. No, I think it was like two. Which was awkward for me. I was sitting on the porch watching, uh, playing words with friends with some of you guys, and there was three dudes across the street just standing around watching her hula hoop, and three dudes. <laughs> Next door, just watching her hula hoop. So there was I six didn't dudes really just about it like watching that. my girlfriend hula hoop. And it was, and uh, then we and left. I mean, like guys, rabbit at the mouth, haven't been in a bar and hit on a girl, just foaming like, oh, look at her, and Shara just sitting there shaking it. Oh, you think I'll just stop? I'll never stop. Just blue ball neighborhood is where I live. So that was good for uh, Wait, everybody but me. And then we left and got Taco Bell. And when we came back, I got out of the car with a huge bag of Taco Bell. Yeah. And one of the guys looks at me and he goes, hey, are you hula hoop girl? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. So uh, now I'm hula hoop girl, which you guys knowing Shire is only going to inspire her to create her own fucking <laughs> fan page onlyfans.com where she'll be uh hula hooping in the smallest swimsuit she can find and uh when which is every swimsuit when the hula hoop hits the ground we'll focus in on her feet and that's how we're gonna <laughs> survive this pandemic uh without making any money for, it's pretty great for months but no uh we're doing okay i mean we're good we got each other like i said i've said it on here i say it to all my friends i don't know what in the world i would do without you babe because i I'm useless as a human being. <laughs> so That's not true. Uh, <clears throat> you make people laugh. Well, yeah, but without you, I wouldn't have this content factory or my studio or everything. Without you and the Patreons. And we got a new Patreon. That's great, right? Yeah. Our new Patreon, Mike Kasmer. Hmm. Mike Kasmer. He joined in. He is number 39. We're one away from 40. Mike, thank you for joining. I appreciate it. I know some of you guys want to... I, I guess it's hard to sign up. I don't know. So especially if it's a pain in the ass for you guys to sign up. We appreciate it. Mike's out in Illinois. So shout out to Michael. Uh, I don't need to give his full name like that. But uh, shout out to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> shout mean, out to, to Michael David Kasmer. I don't know if that's... His, what do you think his middle name is? Um, uh, Michael. My middle name is David. Michael David does sound good. I know. Um, Michael Rock the Casmer. You think he's ever heard that stupid <laughs> joke? I deserve it. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. I earned that one. Sorry. <laughs> Mike just joins the joke. I mean, just joins our Patreon, <laughs> and I hit him with the same joke he's probably heard since fifth grade. I'm sorry, Mike. You did not deserve that, Mike. You deserve this. Thank you for coming on board. Who's going to be 40? Who's going to be the big 4-0 Patreon? Shout out to all you guys uh, for helping the show. That's how we keep it rolling. We have the beautiful studio. It's beautiful now. I don't know if there's anything else we can really add. We're trying to do video. I don't know if you guys saw the newest video, Tone Made. Tone Made. Uh, so I'm doing the live show. Most of you guys are my Facebook friend. If you're not uh, Facebook friends. Oh, shit. We were supposed to hit up Becky. Oh. Fuck. Uh, Becky, sorry, I'm sorry, Becky. but I have been doing better with my teeth. You I have? do I do think of her every day. And last night in our Facebook Live, we asked our we took a poll. Yeah, we did a poll. Who's brushing their teeth? It came back like eighty nine percent yes. Eleven yep. percent no. <laughs> but oh yes, uh our bad Becky. We will uh we'll have you on next week. Um sorry about that. Pinky promise. Yeah. And uh we'll everybody brush your teeth, floss, do the things that you're supposed to do. Yeah. And uh, shout out to everybody that bought a book this week. We sold a few more. I know you guys are exhausted of hearing it, but I appreciate it. And I'm just so proud of it. So, And shout out to my boy, Brian Pedersen. He, they made a video of uh, <laughs> his son, Brock, kicking my book through the field goal post. And he goes, it's good. 
No, not the field goal, the book, which I thought was Aww. very... It deserved more. I don't know why my videos aren't getting more on Facebook. It must just be the algorithms or some shit. Because if I post like a picture, I post a picture of you and Teddy, it'll get like 200 likes. But if I post a video, it'll get like 9 or 10 likes. And Tone is making incredible videos. Josh Grambo made a dope video for us. And uh, we had some good videos come out this week. Well, I mean, it's all Tone usually, but occasionally like Ian comes through and made a couple videos. Josh out of nowhere made a video. I'll tell you my opinion. Okay. The videos are good, but I'm not somebody that listens or watches anything with sound. Mm -hmm. You know, I never watch anything with sound. Mm -hmm. So if it's a video that doesn't have subtitles, Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep swiping. Well, okay. That makes sense. Just because there's always something else going on that like if we're watching TV and I'm scrolling and I want to watch a video, I'm not, I don't want like double sound going on. Well, it's just annoying because Tone is making the most incredible videos. I want everybody to see them, but that makes sense. And here's what I need you guys to do this week. Add, subscribe to my YouTube comedy page, uh, to Brant Tober Comedy, because if we get, we're at like 735 subscriptions, we have to get to 1,000. Then I think I can live stream on YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Cause in, and we've been crushing it on the Facebook Live. We're getting ready to put out something else on YouTube. Yeah, well, Shire's been working on something. <laughs> but you, you thought our children's song was a little weird. Shire, is, do you want to talk about it? Or is well, it a surprise? Well, I think it should be a surprise. Okay. It's so good. Well, you know what? It'll be a surprise. We will let the Patreons get it first and we'll release it to everybody else. Yeah, that sounds good. You cool. know what I need to do is film. I've been threatening to do it, but now film a video of the studio we to should. show. We really should because we got a ring light that yeah. we've been talking about. Thanks to you guys. Thanks to the Patreons. Yeah, we have. Yeah. So let's just do it tomorrow. Okay. We'll put up something. We'll, uh, we'll put up something for you guys. Um... But yeah, so we're, I don't know. It's its hard. The show's kind of fucked up now because we, there is no sports. <laughs> there is no salon stories. Well, here, let's talk about sports. Okay, hold on. Let me get your thing. Shire teaches us about sports. Shire. <laughs> no, I'm not teaching you anything. Sports ambition. Okay. Hey, babe, can we talk about something? Yes. <laughs> oh, hold on. And that was the tease at Shire Learns Sports and back to her other favorite one. <laughs> Hey, babe, can we talk about something? Yeah, fire away, babe. (laughs) Okay, so I have mentioned this to you before, and I think maybe we should talk about it on here. Oh, gosh. On every day, you groan about how (laughs) bored you are. Just throughout the day, we'll be hanging out, and then all of a sudden, you let out the biggest groan ever and say how bored you are. And so I've suggested the idea, sport-related, to do an at-home Olympic. Uh huh. And I really think we should do it. I think it'll be so much fun, and I think other people can do it too. <laughs> well, we we need to creatively come up with a bunch of games, games. But I don't know what we would do. I mean, we so far we have hula hooping. Well, I would win. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you want to do this. You've <laughs> no, never beat but... <laughs> me at anything, and this is your chance. No, but like one of them could be like. A flip cup type of game, like we could we could take from like beer Olympics mm-hmm. and take some of those games. We could do apple vinegar shots that we've bought a bottle and we've never done. Yeah, we could see how many apple cider vinegar shots you could do before you throw up. <laughs> there we go. That's the content people are here for. We could do like a flip cup type of game. Okay. We could, I think we need to leave the stairs out of it because I think we'll die. <laughs> well, we don't have that big a house is the thing. We, we don't have a lot of We options. have a big yard though. No, I think we do have options. I think you're limiting yourself. Okay. Well, we can work on it. Well, I think if anybody has any ideas. Yeah, feel free if you guys do something at home that you think would be fun. Or if you have ideas for us. Yeah, we'll do them. We should also rewatch the Office Olympics and see something that they do and see if we can like take from anything they do. And then just recreate it. How many, like what, we could have like 10 games. Well, that's a little aggressive. Let's go with maybe five. Why? Oh, God. I guess we take this call. Hello? 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 Yo. Yo. Mm -hmm. Who is this? Vita V. Jones? Yeah, this is Vita V. Jones. 
No, no fucking shit. <laughs> Who is this? Dude, this is awesome. <laughs> we, we got reconnected. You called our friend about uh, potatoes the other day. Oh, yeah. He, didn't, he got really buggered about it. Why is he so mad at me? No, he's not mad at you. He actually thought it was really funny. He was mad Dude, at us. He got mad at me. Why is he mad at you? Because <laughs> I gave. Oh. Because he got on your uh, live oh, on the stream. Facebook live. <laughs> I love it. Hey, uh, we're gonna do another live stream tomorrow. But I just I'm in the middle of recording a podcast, and I just had to. Oh, answer. sorry, man. No, you guys are good. Um, but, uh, yeah, shit, man. No, no, you guys are good. But uh, um, I'll call some more people tomorrow. Just uh, and I hope he's not mad. But it was all in good fun. No, he he, <laughs> he thought it was funny, man. He okay. thought it was really funny. All right, cool. Hey, thanks. Hey, Shire, say I love hi you. To him. I love your shit. Shout out. Shire's on here. We're recording dead to us. Say hi to him real quick. Hey, guys. All right. <laughs> yeah, hey, Shire. All right. Later, boys. You never know when you give out your phone number to everybody. Uh, now we have calls during dead to us. That's great. Um, yeah. I could probably shut this off, right? Yeah. Give it a rest. Sorry, guys. But in the sake of, uh, since we don't have shit going on, I was like, we might as well answer this phone call. <laughs> yeah, we're taking a call. If we're taking calls. All right, phone's off. Okay, so like one of this these things says rubber band archery. Uh-huh. Okay, that's not bad. I think we need to come up with something totally different no one's ever done, though. Like you're on the right thing, like flip cups, but maybe like spatula flipping or something. We'll work it out. Like flip cups, but the cups are filled with fire. <laughs> there we go. It's, uh, our, our landlord's so nice to give us free rent this month, but just burn his fucking house down. Um, maybe something like flipping a spatula over, you know, like we need to just go through our house inch by inch and then just pick shit. We could do like knife throwing. Yeah. People are into that. Teddy's in. We have Teddy. He's an internet viral sensation when he's not sleeping all the goddamn time. Oh, um, okay. So, yeah, that's your pitch. Yeah. Okay. It's that, sport related and it's hey babe. Can that we is talk hey about babe. Something? Can we talk about the Olympics? <laughs> well, we're not going to have an Olympics. I know, which sucks. You got a favorite Olympic sport? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess, I mean, I don't know. I guess probably gymnastics. Uh huh. Since That's a good one. I did. You know, I used to do the hair for one of the uh, U.S. Fig- figure skaters in oh, the really? Winter Olympics. She didn't fly you to the Olympics to do it? No, but I did it right before she left. How'd she do? Uh, I think she did really bad the first night oh. and really good the second night. So, so it was I too think late. maybe she brought home a silver or a hmm. bronze. She didn't bring home gold. Babe, that's really good if she got an Olympic medal. Who? What, what's her name? Uh, I forget. It was her <laughs> and her husband. <laughs> Well, Shire has Olympic <laughs> friends that well, I guess she doesn't know, but all right. Yeah. Um, that is uh, Shire's famous <laughs> sports friends. What are we going to talk about? Is the well, question. let's talk about what we're watching. Oh, yeah. We just had an incredible. <laughs> if you guys aren't watching 90 Day Fiance, it's you, so good. It is such a train wreck. And you guys have yeah. nothing but time. Just get on board with this season. It's okay. nine. It's before the ninety days. Let me just walk you through yes. some dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Yes. Well, I don't want. Well, you have a girlfriend. Yes, I do have a girlfriend, and we love each other. And she gives me the love that I've never had before. Well, that's great. Then it's over between me and you. Okay. Well, we can still be friends. No, we can't be friends. Have you gained weight? <laughs> If you didn't understand that, that was a couple breaking up and then the guy just parting shot. He has a younger, hotter girlfriend, but he was like, oh, then he goes. She goes, <laughs> no, he, he goes, says, well, then we can just be friends. And she was like, no, I think we're going to leave this here. We're not going to be friends. <laughs> then he just hits her with. Have you gained some weight? <laughs> have you? No, what did he? I think he. Have I don't put know. On, no, he said, have you put on some weight? And Wait, then, in his bread. Have you put on some weight since yeah. I've seen you last? Well, before that, too, he did hit her with, uh, I love you. I loved you at first, but then, like, I kind of, I think of you like my sister. And oh, the girl's yeah. like, oh, <laughs> then we probably shouldn't have sex in. And he's like, oh, no. At first, I was, like, attracted to you. But now, it's like, <laughs> then he just parting shot. And then there's this other guy, Big Ed, who is little and has no neck. It's just his 
his face on his body. He is just fat as he's shit. He's like, if you, you know how like you can take your fist and you can like make eyes on, <laughs> on like your, where your pinky is. And then it like creates like a little hand that you can like make talk uh-huh. or like a little mouth you can make talk. Yeah. That is what, That's what Big looks Ed like. looks like. Yeah. Even if you don't watch the show, just Google Big Ed. Ed, 90 Day Fiance. But he is super fat and short. He lied to her about how fat he was and how short he is. Yes. So he gets to the Philippines. He told her she, he he was 5'3", and he's almost 5 feet. Yeah. And he gets to the Philippines, and all the Filipinos, who are small, are still taller than him. Yes. And then they take him. And the Philippine people, they have the Filipinos, they have no money. So he's in, like, the worst fucking country, and he's, like, a spoiled old rich dude from San Diego. Train wreck. And he and and the dad, he's one year older than this but wait, young girl's dad. They look like an Amber Alert. He's fifty four, and the girl that he's with is twenty three. Yeah. And every time he says anything to her at all, she rolls her eyes. <laughs> she makes sour patch <laughs> roll your eye face. Just oh. He's like, "Can I kiss you?" And she's like, "No." <laughs> then we have like a sixty year old white woman who is just gross, who's in Nigeria with a thirty year old good-looking young black rap star who's yes. obviously just trying to get to America, yes. and he's an awful rapper. And then we have Yolanda. Yeah, then we have a Russian. Who's... We have two people being catfished. We have Yolanda's being catfished oh, yeah. by Williams, Williams, who's a British model, except he's not. He's a Nigerian <laughs> person in Nigeria. <laughs> so she just got an email from Nigeria saying, uh, we have all your nude photos, and we know where you live. We're going to fucking kill you and send your pictures that out if would you don't never, give us money. That's not an actual threat. What? To oh, we're gonna sell your nudes on the internet? Okay. Well, first of all, no one's gonna buy this poor lady's nudes. First of all, there's eighty thousand yeah. billion people's nudes on the internet. That's what I'm sell saying. Sell my nudes. Go for Send it. Them. Well, I hope it makes me famous. <laughs> your one lady is selling your nudes. Remember the guy, your stalker guy. Oh yeah. Have we heard from him yet? No. Or no? Do we have any update on our kids? <laughs> no. Here's a nude segment. <laughs> hey. How are the kids at the state of Colorado trying to give us? Wait, what's the other crazy thing that happened? Uh, what kids do you mean? and something else happened. To us? Yeah. We like, don't do anything. I know, but oh, it was a good one. The McGout flared up today. No, Emily was like, oh, that's so funny. You could have had kids and you could have done something else. Oh, our friend Justin that sent us a ring? Oh, yeah. Shout out to Patreon Justin, who sent us the West Virginia papers, and he included a diamond ring in the package, (laughs) which Shira wasn't ready for. I opened this package. I didn't know Justin was going to send it. (laughs) Thank you, Justin. But we opened up these two West Virginia newspapers, and then there's a little baggie that looked like a little bag of drugs. Like a little dime bag. (laughs) Yeah. And Shira's like, what is that? I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I hope it's not drugs since we don't do drugs. And then it was a diamond <laughs> ring, which Justin, who was already goes above and beyond, he hit us with a hundred on Patreon. He's so great, Justin. You're the best. I don't... That was a really sparkly diamond too, yeah. or is a really sparkly diamond. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I kind of took the surprise out of it. But... You, uh, well, you, uh, you were surprised also. Yeah, it was sweet of him. Well, we he had sent me a couple messages like. Hey, if you want a ring for Shire, I got one. And I was just like, oh, that's cool. But I didn't think he'd actually send it. So, Justin, thank you. We're really starting our lives on during this quarantine. We're, yeah. <laughs> we're getting diamond rings to get married and we're getting children yeah, to have pe- our family. <laughs> people, are, people are just like, hey, uh, Brent, you're a fuck up. This is the best girlfriend you ever have. We're not going to let you ruin this. Here's a couple kids because you got low T and your dick doesn't work. Here's a diamond ring because you have no money and no. Uh, marriage. <laughs> And well, we have like people reaching out to us like, hey, are you guys OK? And then we have other people reaching out to us like, hey, here are the things that you need to complete the life that you <laughs> wanted to have. Yeah. Some of my, my my friends, one of my friends and I was like, hey, he hit us with, are you all right? And we're <laughs> like, what? Are you all right? He's like, no, like, are you all right? Do you need rent money? I was like, no, we're fine. First of all, we got free rent from our amazing landlord. But yeah. thank you to all our friends that really think we're on the verge of living in the philippines <laughs> i think i think that we will be i think that we're hustlers and i think we'll be yeah all we'll be right, all right no i've sold what. a bunch of I, to be honest i think i've said it before the, the patreon's higher than it's ever been we've officially paid off the whole studio well i am a firm believer that happiness is key well, and i'm the happiest is, i've ever is, been in my whole life central i don't know what are you talking about 
out. Yeah, but we still have to pay our bills and survive. I got money. <laughs> okay. Well, I got me a sugar mama too then. Um, but no, we're doing good. So thanks for everybody that looked out. And to be honest, this is one of the best months I've had just because I've sold so many books. And I've been doing these live shows on Facebook and people just hook it up. What? Or you're shaking your head like I shouldn't tell people? I think that you should definitely make the squirt squirt shirt. Yeah, well, we're going to make shirts too for you guys. Like tomorrow. I want one. All right, we're working on it. All right. But uh, that's a segment called Thanks for Worrying About Us, but we're all right. (laughs) That's that's our, our life segment. And thank you. Justin for sending us a diamond ring that I might just use. Yeah. Because I think it fit your finger, right? Yeah, it actually fit perfectly. Ooh, well. So way to go. Good looking out. Um, okay. What what do we have? We have no salon uh, stories. Well. <laughs> no, we don't. Okay. We're not burning. <laughs> we're not burning it all down today. But We are not going to burn it all down today. I will say this. There's nothing more fucking disrespectful than when you text somebody and then when someone texts you wanting attention and then you give it to them and then they just no respond you back mm-hmm. and that's the fucking worst mm-hmm. i think that there's also something very um disrespectful about when somebody pours their heart out to you and like writes a really long text message to you to not respond at all yeah first of like, all just even, a no response even just to thank you could be a nice thing to do. Trust me, I had to deal with this shit with Jeff Dye, who, uh, you know, he's, he's still one of my very good friends. But at the time, he'd introduce me as his best friend to everybody. And then there'd be days I'd text him, and he wouldn't fucking write back. And I'm like, bro, you have your hand in your phone every second of the day. What, what the fuck is going on? Don't say I'm your best friend. And then just leave me on red for fucking... It would drive me crazy. Yeah. I mean, and occasionally, like, people will text and I miss it or something. To be fair, it can't happen. So if I if, if, if it's if you miss me one time or something, but if I feel like it's a pattern, especially when you reach out to me and then I respond and then just like, okay, thanks, or just any kind of mm-hmm. response is like one of mm-hmm. my... You can even react. It's 2020. Yeah. All you have to do is hold your finger on the text and yeah. hit the heart. Which I don't like. I'm not a fan of that. Because then I think I have a text message coming in, but you just hearted what I wrote. Yeah, just but write it's, thanks. But it's like, an igno- it's acknowledgement. Ha-ha. Yeah, yeah. I well, mean, just the acknowledgement. I the think thing. any sort of anything is, and is yeah. is a nice gesture. Well, and especially in these times, like we're no one's doing shit. Well, I guess some people are still working. Yeah. And it's not fair, but man, I will. Me and Shire going through that together as a, a couple texts we've sent out. I'm just like, come on. And that, if I send shit to like people, are like hey. Get Tom Segura, get people on the podcast. I send them, not Tom, but there's other comics that I text and they don't write back. And I, I get it. They get a million texts. But my problem is if you reach out to me and then I come back, then you don't respond to that. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Are you all right? You should get come on, man, as one of your all friends. Right. We'll or do, or is that said too much? Come on, man. No, it's a good one. Mm. Come on, man. Football, bring it on back. But yeah, to those of you that have been tuning into the live show, uh, thank you on Facebook Live. It's fun. Yeah, you know I love I love doing these podcasts for you guys, and I love when you guys send me messages saying you it helps you through your days and everything. But there's nothing better than like the instant, and that's like Michael Graham hit me up today. Shout out to Michael Graham Patreon. I think eleven, but he's like, are you writing jokes? And I kind of am, but it's hard to write jokes and then not go perform them. And get that instant gratification. Like, if I write jokes now, I'm not going to know if they're worth a shit in a month. Well, yes. (laughs) I mean, I'm still writing them. Don't get me wrong. I'm still... But I write more in my head now anyway. Yeah. So right now I do have a... In my notes right here, I have the kids stuff, which I think is going to be great. We got kids. is just what it says. And then me and Shire are working on a joke together about how everyone has that friend who's a one-upper. Yes. But our one-upper has a stutter. So it's even more annoying because <laughs> it takes him longer to one up us, and he just fucking because it t- 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 yeah. t- 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 takes him longer. Yeah. La- 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 he tells us three, 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 three fucking <laughs> times about his dinner with John, 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 John Elway. Like, is this? Po- I don't know if this joke is politically correct. I don't it's know. probably not. Yeah, probably but the, not. any good joke starts like that. Go ahead. Well, look, we're stuck at home, so what yeah. are you? What are you going to cancel us? Everything's canceled <laughs> anyway. That's what I love today. It, Everyone's mad at Louis C.K. for putting out his special. But it's like, fucking, what are you going to do? Cancel him? He can't come to clubs. 
It was genius. He made a bunch of fucking money. Yeah, he's pretty smart. Well, well let's hear your, your non-PC joke. Uh, What are you talking about? You were like, I got a joke, but I don't know if it's PC right now. No, that's what I was saying. The stutter one. Oh, yeah. yeah well, I don't know if the stutter that. one is. Um, but then You, you we, like my stutter joke, right? Yes. And you know what I also <laughs> like that we've been talking about is doing like the top 10 hackiest jokes Ugh. of quarantine because it's just so funny. It's gonna. Everyone's gonna have the same jokes. I know. You know who doesn't want this quarantine to end? My dog. He's <laughs> never been happier in his life. All right, you go. What? You know what companies are gonna be struggling after quarantine? Escape rooms. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know how about that fucking Tiger King movie? If I if I get when I got my twelve hundred dollars from the government, I went and bought a tiger immediately. All right, you go. <laughs> If I had a baby after this quarantine, do you think COVID or Corona would be a good name? Uh, man, uh, I got so much damn toilet paper now, I'm definitely going to Taco Bell because I got more than I even could handle. You know who loves <laughs> Corona are my dogs. I already did that one. You did? That was my opening oh, one. Oh, damn it. Um <laughs> What are the other ones? You guys are know. probably know. What else? That was that Louis C.K. Uh, one. Oh, it's funny that Louis C.K. put out a a video when we're all trapped inside and we can't leave and we have to watch <laughs> it, which was actually funny the first time I heard it, and then 20 more. What yeah. else? There's got to be a few more. It's just funny when like one person says it and then the other person says it and thinks that they invented it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Someone. <laughs> yeah, someone I, did that to no, you. No. What, yeah, to me? Who? Uh-huh. Uh, Josh. Oh yeah, yeah, fucking Josh Nelson. <laughs> Josh Nelson. I, I post. I posted. Uh, Carol Baskin killed Jeffrey Epstein on like Thursday, and he <laughs> likes it on Facebook. He likes it on Twitter, and then on Tuesday, I don't. I think I talked about it on here. Did I talk about it here on another podcast. I don't know. Then on Tuesday, he just has a fucking full out meme made, <laughs> and I just text him, "Yo, what are we doing? Just making my jokes into memes?" He's like, "I don't know what you're talking about. What?" What are you talking about? I searched the internet. No one's made that joke yet. And I just screenshot him where he liked both my Twitter and Facebook four <laughs> days ago. He goes, dude, I'm not, I wouldn't, I'm not trying to steal your jokes. I go, I'm not saying I'm trying to steal my jokes, but are you all right? Are you Listen, all right? He's just being your best cheerleader. Nah, he's the fucking worst. I had to kick him off Facebook live because he always tries to be funny. Mm. Um, How do you kick someone off? Do you block him? I just talk shit to him and go that Josh Nelson's in here in the comments. He's going to be awful. And if he called and then he called in and then I just hung up on him. <laughs> Because he's an idiot. I said, if you call in, turn down your, my turn down the volume because it's a bad echo. Mm. And we were on like the third day of doing it and he tuned in every show. So I call in and he's like chaos. And I just was like, you're out of here, bro. <laughs> Later, loser. Later, loser. It's fun to hang up on people. I know. It's your favorite thing. Um. So yeah. So get ready for the hack off that's coming out of quarantine. I like that hack off. It's like whack off, which is what everybody's doing during quarantine. <laughs> there, there, there. <laughs> Talk about hand sanitizer. I had plenty of hand sanitizer. I ran out of lotion, you know. <laughs> Trying to date on these dating websites during fucking during the quarantine. I mean, all these they, girls have been socially distanced themselves from me for years. I didn't need a quarantine. That's the one everyone does. Yeah. Social distance. I've been doing that for years. I hate people. <laughs> fucking so stupid. I'm trying to think of other ones are that we are right. losing our minds. Yes, yeah, so I hope you guys are. Enjoy- this we might, well, I might see a big spike in the numbers. I well, I, get, so. I, well, I never know. People might turn it on and then they're just out. Mm, yeah. I, I, it doesn't tell me when you guys quit on us, but we are losing our minds. Yeah, we're losing our. I mean, we eat dinner. We'll finish this. It's ten thirty, well, and I'm like, s- what's for dinner? <laughs> yeah, our schedule is. Breakfast at one, <laughs> lunch around five, and dinner around ten or eleven. Yeah, so we're recording right now. It's ten thirty. We we'll generally probably... wake up around eleven. Yeah, we let it's t- such a good life. Shire is so happy. I'm so happy. I think that one time in my life I was a retired person <laughs> in France learning <laughs> Spanish. No, those were two different lives. I think you're going to end up getting bored, though. I you don't. don't miss haircutting at all? I like... Or miss your clients or your yes, friends? Yes. No, or... like there are there are definitely people that I miss, but I am so happy <laughs> right now. And no. also, I don't, I don't, 
define myself by my career. I have so many other things that I love to do and that I want to do. And I mean, talk about hacky jokes. Everybody's saying like, oh, you know, now you can never lie to yourself again about if I had the time, these are the things that I would do. Because I've always said, if I had the time, these are the things that I would do. And I'm actually doing them. Oh. And I think that that's why I'm so happy because I am I feel like I'm like living my dreams. Shire's on fire. I mean, Motivational it's, Shire's it here. It sounds super cheesy, but it's true. And I'm not defined by my job. It doesn't make me who I am. I'm so much more than a hairstylist. And that's Whoa. why I'm so happy. Okay. Well, that was a great speech. Uh, how annoying am I, though? You've been stuck with me for three weeks. You're No, you're not annoying. Nothing? N- only when <laughs> you... Oh, boy. Are... <laughs> oh, boy. Well, first of all... Buckle up. We had to make a rule. Oh, shit. <laughs> Here we go again. We had to make a rule. Do you remember what the rule is? What? That you're not allowed to wake up... Oh, but I do that anyway. Just wake up and groan and moan. He wakes up. I'll be like in the kitchen making his <laughs> breakfast. And he's like waking up at like 1130. And the house is clean. And it smells like bacon. And you just hear <laughs> from our bedroom. Oh, what day is it? Oh, I'm so bored. And I'm like, really? That's how we're going to wake up this morning. I, 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 I pride myself on not being pouty or dramatic in life at all. And I don't do it in front of anyone, but I I am guilty of. I don't even think you can Every hear me. Every morning. But I like to wake up and just go, ah, uh, uh, uh. No, I can 100% hear you. I just oh. did that. But then I'm fine once I get out of bed. Yeah, but the rule is you're not allowed to do that. And okay. you have to wake up and say good morning. Because then it'll morning. be a good morning. Because every day well, the is the morning's a great over day. by the time we wake up. Well, it's almost over. I, yeah. I don't ever know what day it is. You know what a cool thing we're doing here in Denver is... I don't, are they doing it all across the country, you think? I think they're doing it in the big cities. Oh, they're not doing it in the springs. They're doing it in New York. They're doing it in Cheyenne a little bit. Well, New, Cheyenne's a capital, baby. Oh, yeah, big time. Uh, at 8 o'clock... People, everyone goes out on their porch and goes, Ow! and we, for the first time tonight, went out and uh, listened. And it was pretty, you could hear it, like the whole city's doing it. It was kind of cool, honestly. It's, I think it's different in every city. I know in New York it's at 7 because that's when the nurses have their shift change. Mm-hmm. But you know that it's, it's to applaud the medical professionals that are helping cure this so thing. we for the first time we we we're, we have our neighbors around us are pretty cool but we don't really talk to them yet so but i wanted to see if it was real because i on facebook uh people are like it's getting louder it's getting louder so i told shire hey let's pause this at eight o'clock i want to go out and hear and then right when it turned eight o'clock you could hear neighborhoods in the distance mm-hmm. it was loud enough it was really cool well and you could hear it like we could hear a very very faint echo yeah. And then it got louder, and then it got louder, yeah. and then it got louder, and then it was like our neighbors right up next door to us were. Doing I know, it. and we so should have let cool. we should have let loose. I think next time we need to go in the front yard. Yeah, we'll do it tomorrow. But it's night. every night. Yeah, but I think it'll be cool because it's gaining momentum, and if it goes till I mean we're stuck in Denver till at least May first. Mm-hmm. So if it's gaining momentum now, that'll be kind of cool. If it's in like two weeks when the whole city, mm-hmm. if you could hear the whole city, would be. Gives me the chills just thinking about the, it. The weird thing is it started in New York and it started out as like applauding mm-hmm. and cheering. And somehow it got turned into howling in Denver. But I don't think you're actually supposed to howl. Well, you are now. I think it's just called the Denver Howl. But I think pe- now people are taking it literally and they're actually howling. Well, remember when we wanted to make up a superstition? Well, here I, you go. I hope the shit sticks. <laughs> I hope we do it every day of this month. So then for the rest of our lives at 8 o'clock, wherever you are, you did, everybody howls. It's kind of cool, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm into it. I don't and know. And then from... <laughs> what? Uh-oh. <laughs> Here comes a bad joke. Let me get on the button. Go ahead. I can always and tell. From now on, when you hear a wolf howl, you'll have PTSD from 2020. <laughs> Damn you. you. You know what? <laughs> you blew it! <laughs> we were having a nice moment right there. And you just had to bring up the PTSD. I mean, it's going to affect us for a long time, I think. For sure. For sure. Let's just get it over with. 
I'm May 1st. I believe May 1st is our time. To shine. To shine. Let's get out of this. I've, I, I read so many different fucking things. Here's a, here's mm-hmm. here, you. Well, I do have an eye all right for you guys today. My wonderful girlfriend on our walk today, we're already dealing with fucking the Corona COVID virus 19, whatever. And if, uh, those of you, uh, you guys know me, there's one thing, the most important thing in my life besides my wonderful girlfriend is the state of Wyoming where I grew up and I'm so <laughs> proud of being from and where most of my closest friends and some of my family and they, I mean, my whole world is Wyoming. Shire hits me with this midwalk. Go ahead, babe. Um, well, I just was trying to make conversation. So I was telling you about uh, an article that I read <laughs> that said that there have been 111 earthquakes near Yellowstone and that NASA now has a monitoring system using satellites where they're watching Yellowstone. And I don't know if it's like a thermal thing or what, but they're watching it so that they can have time to warn people about getting out of Dodge because they think that Yellowstone could potentially blow because it's 40,000 years overdue and all of the seismic um, movement that has been happening around Yellowstone. And then I What's was, it going to do to Wyoming? Well, Wyoming is in the kill zone. <laughs> <laughs> she said it's going to kill every person in the state of Wyoming. No, that's not what I said. <laughs> that's what you said. No, the- I said it's in the kill zone, which means if you happen to be in Wyoming, then you're probably going to die. Yeah, but- <laughs> that's what I just said. <laughs> well, and then we're in the heavy ash zone, which means probably most of us will die too, because it'll be like Pompeii. Yeah, but that's why... we. I mean, I don't know if this is It was a science journal article. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying NASA's watching it. And I don't believe that NASA watches bullshit. Yeah, but so anyone could have made... get out your umbrellas. Anyone could have made that up. Sure. But who knows? So to my friends and family in Wyoming, Shire, it might be... I love in my head as you were telling me this, it's just going to go right to the fucking state line. And anyone <laughs> who's... If you can get to the border in time, you're alive. But if you're in the state of Wyoming... Well, no. It wasn't just Wyoming. It was like also into Montana and in Idaho, into Idaho. But and the state of Wyoming, gone. I think the corners... Because it's like a circle, you know? What? Wyoming? Well, yeah. Like the grid no, that Wyoming's I was... Wyoming's a perfect no, square. No, not Wyoming. Oh. The, the grid that I was looking at. Obviously, this volcano is not going to blow in a perfect circle. But just for like graphing for purposes... S- to scare us. That's the the thing that they showed me. So, yeah. Uh, we'll see, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> Just if you're wondering. But then it also said in the article, look, people, we've had pandemics before and we're fine. We're here. We've had volcano, vol- volcanic eruptions before and we're fine. This is not the end of the world. It's something that we're monitoring so that we can take action if we need to. Okay. So everybody should feel good about that. So feel good about that. <laughs> if you don't live in Wyoming, Montana, or Idaho, <laughs> you're going to get to see an incredible explosion on YouTube. <laughs> and that is Shire's Extra Scary Pandemic Thoughts. <laughs> Shut your mouth, you thong-wearing <laughs> fatty! Sorry, that was not for you. That was yes, the wrong button. Was. No, I'm on the wrong page. Emily's going to get so mad at me for saying that. What? She may have even turned it off. This is not the right one. I know I'm on the wrong page. Here it is. And that is Shire letting you know there's other ways you could possibly die if you survive. survive. <laughs> COVID-19, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Well, hey, didn't we have a quote of the week from somebody else, not Chancellor? No. Someone said something and I was like, damn it. We should have wrote that down. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. And that was our quote of the week. Wait, what are you talking about? I, I don't know. We should have wrote it down. What was it from? Oh, was it from House of Cards that we've been watching? Yeah, what was it? It was from House of Cards. Do you Cards. remember what it was? No. Oh. <laughs> so but that But you were was like, that is a good one. Almost our quote of the week. Or was it tonight? No, it was House of Cards. One thing that they do on House of Cards that we talked about, which is like a superstition thing, is the guy before he leaves a room, he knocks on a table twice. One, because it hardens your knuckles if you're going to get in a fight. And one, because you're knocking on wood. Yeah. So that could be our thing. Well, we have our thing. We just haven't been doing it. Well, yeah, because no one's driving. So yeah. maybe that. Well, I hope it. you guys are doing it. But I got to be honest. I drove like three times. I keep forgetting to do it. Yeah. But there's a lot of other things on my brain right now. 
on my plate. And big old brain And my buster. big old brain buster. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, well, here's we are. Here we are. <laughs> Should we wrap it up? Should we just keep it short today? Yeah. What, how much time are we at? About six minutes, I think. No, we're not six minutes in. No, we're at 40. So we're all right. Yeah, There's no salon just... story. We haven't heard from Chancellor. No. Um, Shire, please... Uh, follow Shire's Gluten Free and Sexy page where she's making me all this incredible food and putting the recipes. Yeah, I've been put. And also, if I don't put the recipe there, I've had quite a few people message me and ask me for recipes. So then I'm typing them out and sending them out. So I don't yeah. know if I, I don't know if I should like make a, I just feel like the idea of a blog is so outdated. I'm like, yeah. ugh, blog, that's so 1990s. Who does that anymore? <laughs> Nerds. But is a blog like the first step to having a cookbook? Should I start a blog of all of my recipes and all of my pictures and get that going and then release a cookbook? No, because then all my recipes are on the internet and you wouldn't have to buy the cookbook. Well, you're kind of doing that anyway, but... Not, well, I'm not posting your, all the recipes. Your Instagram is pretty much a blog anyway, because you show the picture, then you talk about it, and yeah. then you write. The, which so, what you're essentially writing your book without writing your book right now, right? So it's going good, and everything you're making is incredible. I've been on a real winning streak. It's because I'm so happy. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> Let's do a couple of shout outs. Once again, shout out to Tone Gordon for making everything. Becky, so sorry we missed you this week. Ped, thanks for having your kid boot the book for us. Cameron, thanks for calling in all the time. Casey, thank you so much for just shooting me 50 bucks on Venmo after the live show and having your mother. <laughs> Casey's mother and father-in-law, Casey hit me up, him and his wife, Emily, hit me up to prank their mom. It didn't work. His mother, Emily's mom, didn't work. And then they sent me $100 on Venmo for trying to prank <laughs> their mom, That's which is great, nice. which is so sweet of uh, everybody. But then I was like, "Is this bi- will this work as a business <laughs> <laughs> where I just try to prank people's mom and it doesn't go good and I get $100? I mean, I'd be so rich. It could. But shout out to them, uh, Dollar Menu Alex. I love that that's his name on here. I just want everybody to know Alex, that you are wearing a hot pink I am. hat. I am. I'm hot. That's made out of towel material. Yes. Brother George is back. Lee, Mark, Matthew, Michael Graham, Michael Sandoval, Mike Kasmer's in the house. Jesse, I miss you so much, buddy. If you're listening, Piper, Rick out in Salt Lake. Robin and Chico made friends with Brother George on Facebook. Shauna still kicking my ass. Tim, TJ, thanks for staying with us, guys. I wish we had more content. You know, we'll we'll do. This is our bad. We're gonna do the we'll Olympics, do, and yeah. then we'll let you know how it goes. We're gonna film what we're talking about filming, and that is content that you guys are gonna be getting first, and uh-huh. it's really good. Yeah, and we'll do better at writing down. St- we got we need to do better to prep for this show. Yeah, I mean... Because all the segments we made are useless right now. I know. So we'll do better next week. And plus, I think some of you guys always need time to catch up because we're putting out so much shit. But for those of you that are listening every day, I hope it helps. And for those of you that are on catch up, we'll keep it tight for you guys so you can catch up. Hope you guys listened to the Brad episode. I'm so proud of it. He wrote on my Instagram, thanks for having me. Now lose my number. (laughs) Sure, I was like, is he serious? I was like, I don't think so, but... There was no JK or anything after it. So uh, please listen to the Brad episode because it might be the last time I ever talked to him. Uh, trying we're to get definitely more. Definitely not invited to his wedding. Yeah, we're trying to get more comedians on. Uh, as always, thank you, Justin, for sending us a diamond ring. It, it might be what we have to go with because it fits her and uh, we'll see. If it fits, it ships. If it, if it fits, it ships. That's <laughs> yeah. not what it is. Yeah, that's what the postal service. That's their name. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I thought if it fits, you must, or if it doesn't, if it pits, it, sh- oh, if it fits, it shits. If it pits, it shits. Then we're losing our minds. <laughs> we're losing our minds. Okay. But thank you guys for continuing to fuck with us. We love you. You can catch the live shows at, uh, two or three times a week. And uh, we'll just, uh, we're here for you every single day. And we hope the best for you guys. We're all getting through this shit together. So be safe, stay healthy, wash your hands. If you don't wash your hands and if you don't listen to this podcast you will be 
dead to us. us. And maybe to the world. So wash your hands. Take care of each other. We love you guys. Bye-bye. There is a girl that...